Welcome back to the Div 12 Resi's Waddle Park season. Round six action against Ormond Footy Club at home at the zoo. If you've been enjoying our season so far and you want to stay up to date with everything, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. There is a huge out this week for Waddle Park. C. McDonald is out. Ethan Baker is is in. The injury I have sustained is probably the funniest football injury you'll ever hear. Um, it was Tuesday night at training. I was getting up off the ground after an effort in the midfield. Someone from the goal square kicked a big heavy yellow footy back into a group of 20 blokes. <laughs> and while I was trying to get up off the ground, it smacked me in the back of the head, stunning me for one second. I fell limp to the ground after getting hit in the back of the head by the pill. And I rolled onto my shoulder. So the whole time, I, I was really concerned about the shoulder. That was my main concern. People were worried about potentially concussed. I don't think I was concussed. I think I was stunned for half a second, which just took my body out completely. Um, but it was landing on the shoulder, which was the biggest concern. So I went to Dr. Peter Larkin's clinic this week. Um, I got checked out. He said, you've probably done something to the socket. So we'll go and get an MRI. I had an MRI, went back to the doctor on Friday and he said, you've subluxed your shoulder and you're gonna be out for three to four weeks. I had front and center prime time viewing for McDonald's injury. And like a heat seeking missile straight from North Korea, it has bonced McDonald on the back of the head. Essentially the big coward punch because he wasn't expecting it, head over the pill, Bang, lights are out as if Mike Tyson himself has emerged from the darkness. He's plant, face planted into the ground, but I shouldn't say face plant because he landed on his shoulder. The shoulder has popped out of the socket and he's out for a month. So, mate, I essentially feel like I saw my mate got, get king hit. I was bloody terrified, to be honest with you. King hit by a Sharon. I don't think anyone really thought it was going to be anything too serious once we left training, though. And then we get a message the next morning. I've gone to Dr. Peter Larkin. <laughs> I've headed to Dr. Peter Larkin's place to get the shoulder checked out and um, yeah, it turns out you're out and that was really flattening for the whole group. Now, there's a million funny things about this, but the most hilarious part about it for mine is that while we were getting smashed by 80 points last week, I kept saying, I'm going to re-retire. I don't want to be out here. I'm not enjoying it. And then a couple of days later, I get bonked on the head. I hurt my shoulder and I'm not playing this week. And all I was saying this week is I'd love to be out there. Why am I missing out? This is frustrating. And it's almost like the universe bonked me on the head to give me some perspective, to give me some gratitude. So I think on the ins and outs, it shouldn't say McDonald out with a shoulder injury. It should say McDonald out for three to four weeks with a big cup of perspective. Tulso, why haven't you got your kid on? Oh, I'm not playing this week, Drews. What? Yeah, I think I'm coaching, which is going to be interesting. The most exciting thing about today is we've got a ring in and we've gone recruiting. So there's been rumours that other teams have been dropping a few players against us. Um, they don't want to go thirds v thirds. They've been dropping, you know, a couple from the higher divisions to take on the Wattle Park animals. So we've gone recruiting. We're going to fight fire with fire. Um, obviously, with myself going down, I've got on to... One of my great mates, one of my best mates. Um, he's been a channel regular on some of my biggest videos in the goal recreations. Um, Ethan Baker is debuting for the Animals today. Um, I've sort of drummed up that he's this superstar footballer, because he, he is, but um, it was 10 years ago when he got asked to go down to Geelong VFL. Um, and I've, I've said this story a million times and he hates when I bring it up, but I was proud of him that this was the level of footy that he achieved, but he played at South Barn Footy Club. This is like 2015. Um, played at South Barn Footy Club. Matty Scarlett was the coach. Darcy Fort, who's at Brisbane, was his ruckman. Um, Tom Stewart was his full back and Bakes was in and around the midfield and he was a genuine contributor. Um, you know, once again, I've said this story a million times and he's gonna hate me for telling it, but Scarlo asked him to go down to the VFL and Bakes just fell out of love with footy around that time, so he declined. Um, and then he hasn't played footy for the last couple of years, so he's going to be very handy in the thirds for us today, but it's not like he played VFL last season and he's coming down to the thirds. It's like, this is 10 years ago. Do I look like an English Premier League gaffer? Uh, yeah, he could be managing Chelsea. Oh, Scalzi, Scalzi, drift up, Scalzi. 
watching the footage back is not good for the confidence because I'm out there thinking I look sick and then I'm like, I have the worst ball drop of all time. I'm so awkward when I yeah. play. Like, it is really humbling to watch yourself because, man, I thought I looked sick, but... Well, they went through, at least. Yeah, no, but my whole... I, I'm like jogging like the. I just look like. <laughs> I think I look like Pachaka out yeah, there, yeah. and I look. I look horrible. So yeah. look, I'm keen to fucking kick a couple goals today. I'm officially registered. So yeah, last week my goals weren't on the website, and what's the point of doing it if yeah. you're not on the website? So <laughs> um, yeah. this is my star recruit. This is my star recruit. Here he is. Oh, the pressure on me. How you feeling? Yeah, not too bad. So feeling reasonably. These fine. aren't the normal facilities. So <laughs> we're, yeah, I'm, I've got a real warm welcome to the food. <laughs> We're out in a Bunnings kiosk. Um, we're playing on this, dude. Turn of the seat. Yeah, that's where we're playing. We'll get some cones up <laughs> as the goals. Use some shoes for the boundary post. We're going to turn some Bunnings snags in the middle as we warm up. <laughs> Far out. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guess what, who smells good? <laughs> yeah. Definitely yeah. you, you Not smell great. Cool. Well, that's pretty easy when you've got no Guernseys that haven't been left in a bag for a week. <laughs> so New kit, who this? That's so sick. I'm getting that on right now. Has anyone else got oh. the kit on you? Yeah. Hey? Has anyone else got the full kit on yet? Or? Yeah. Hour before yeah, the game. Get it on. Get it on there. Actually, yeah. I'll wear this underneath. Bit I'm chilly. not going to do that. Right. Let's put it on. Nice. That is so hot. It's more like a leg sleeve, like an Allen Iverson leg sleeve. Oh yeah. Um, you know, th this uh, this is for the looks, and this is strictly buckets, man. This like strictly buckets. <laughs> he he looks like he looks like a cross dresser. <laughs> I'm not a cross dresser, a cosplayer. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Do we ever notice that that's your initials? I have. Yeah, BM. Adam McCabe. Oh my god. So funny that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that. On. <laughs> Oh. Hell yeah. There's a Casty Sugar brand, which is CSR, and my yeah. Nick Connor Scott Rogers. So you've got Ball Magnus, I've got Casty Sugar. Um, What's happening? There are weird times where I have like visions and they just come true. I had a vision that I was going to win $35,000 on deal or no deal, and it happened. I had a vision that the Blues were going to beat the D's by one point. If you offered me a one point win right now, I would take it in a heartbeat. But, like I've said, 40 point win plus gets us into the top point, And it happened. And I've had this vision all week, this almost like a recurring dream, where I kicked the match winner today. And it's going to happen. <laughs> Oh, we're, we're going to be down by a couple with not long to go. I'm going to float in off a wing and take a marker around here and kick it a set shot straight through the high diddle diddle cat in the fiddle and I'm going to celebrate like you've never seen to that camera over there. That's not a prediction. That's a spoiler. Trey man, <laughs> what are you going to do today to get the dub for the boys? Uh, going to embrace what Caden McDonald couldn't. That's a bit of heart. You know, a bit of strength, a bit of courage. Yep. Let's have a crack, aren't we? Let's have a crack. Name this stretch part two. Uh, easy does it. <laughs> I had a couple of good ones. A couple of really bad ones too. What was the, the best one? So do you want it? <laughs> Which is ambiguous. Yep. Boys are gone. Boys are gone. Oh, get him up, Baker. That was perfect, actually. Get him hey. Why don't you put your arms up, man? Because I like when forwards are going to lead and jump. I like to get you diving for the cameras. Forwards are going to lead and jump. You want to give me something, Bakes? So how are you feeling? Animals debut. Yeah, not too bad. Feeling reasonably fresh. Hopefully, I uh, can get through it. What did you think of the standard last week? Oh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Obviously, Macedon were a pretty good side, but I thought the boys here. Found the footy enough. It's just not creating enough opportunities, I guess. Straight in the gut today, mate. Yeah. It's an impact. Uh, it's like um. He stitched me up. Good one. It's like when a um free agent, <laughs> like when a free agent just scouts his team. Like he came down last week and went, yeah, I, I want a piece of this culture. I want to, you know, the money's right. Uh, no money. It's Vaffer. So if anyone's watching, um, it's a. <laughs> It's an amateur competition, but on the side from you, yeah, yeah, he, he was happy that the the party pies are right. He's happy happy that the free Red Bulls are are good to go, and um, he's secured. We've secured one of the best players in the comp, I believe. Hey, Drews. How are you going to help the boys win today, brother? Uh, hopefully, I kick goals. Yeah. Because they're more than points. Kicked a snap from the pocket last week. I wasn't happy about that. I wasn't happy. When I missed it, I wasn't happy. 
can't um, abandon the drop punt with the 100% success rate. I know. It's... I failed. I was a disgrace on myself. Uh, mum even called me. She said, why... <coughs> oh, mum. Mum. Mum called me. She said, what the fuck was that? Don't come see me this weekend, so... Yeah, really. I'm not really a cameraman. You are a cam you are literally a cameraman. No, I'm a producer. I just play the game. Yeah, it's all it for the love. I just come been, in. Any good form? Uh, I've had a few down weeks, but I think our disposal needs to be a bit better this week. So just that's what I'm trying to focus on. Even in the conditions, just try and hit targets. Finding options rather than just playing the fast game. So if they start to play fast, and don't be afraid to wait, find an option, wait for a tall option, wait for someone to lead up here. Um, boards here, sketch and trail, so after the first contest. Uh, Dossie's going to be doing the board this week because he's a bit injured. And TC will be coming as well to help with the board. We do have a Guernsey Preso because Dossie's not playing and he has brought one of his best mates down to play with us today who's got a bit of footy Probably. skill Probably. and ability. Uh, so Dossie's going to do a Guernsey Preso. Um, <laughs> Alright lads. Bit of housekeeping on me. Um, got bumped with the footy it on Tuesday. Fell to the ground. Done the shoulder, out for three or four. No! Um, <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Tragic way to go. I, uh, the doc asked me, he goes, um, has there been any strain on the shoulder recently? And I said, I kicked eight and carried this one. <laughs> He goes, didn't contribute. Um, <laughs> so obviously I've got Bakes down to play um, today. Like for life matchup. Um, <laughs> he's an absolute gun. So I think we need a bit of grunt in the midfield. I'm hoping the hammies hold up, because if they do, he's gonna have a bit of a day out. But um, the one thing I love about this club is there's a few of us that haven't played footy for a couple of years um, and sort of got lost to the game a little bit. So the best thing about the thirds is like myself, Rog, and Bakes have missed out on footy for the last few years. We're back in it, we're absolutely loving it. Um, so hopefully he enjoys his footy today and has a day out. Come on, mate. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Yeah. Yeah, you out of the <laughs> you want, you're out. Uh, I'm gonna make some moves. <laughs> I, um, you don't wanna be on the magnets for too long, do you? No, all jokes aside, I wasn't meant to be moving the magnets, and I don't think, like, if I am moving the magnets, I'm not going to move the magnets out of protest of moving the magnets. Um, my shoulder hurts, I can't move the magnets. <laughs> Cammy, <laughs> your arm's looking schwalski. Yeah, man, I was spewing, I got the long sleeve last week, so happy I got the, um, the short sleeve, and I was just doing some bicep curls before. Because I know heaps of chicks watch the vlogs, you know, man, the marmalade demographic is just straight up babe. So, um, hopefully they uh, watch me kick 10 today. We're heading this way. Grab a jumper, nice and tight. Get in. Heading this way, starting off uh, with the home crowd in front of us. For them. Alright, this stays for them. This yeah, stays for the boys. club. This stays for the Davis family. Let's fucking have Let's a go. So we had the breast cancer fundraiser ladies lunch at the Waddle Park Animals this week. It's one of the biggest days for our footy club. That's why the lads were in the ripping pink on pink kits. Big fan of the pink kits on the boys supporting breast cancer awareness. Great cause, great look on the boys um, and a bit of an alternate kit as well. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I want to wear the same Guernsey every game. I want to wear the pink every game. I don't think there is a kit that rivals the Waddle Park pink and pink. A terrific cause that it was good for all the boys to get around. And gee, one hell of a day at the club. There were that many people there. I didn't know Waddle Park could possibly have so many supporters, but that was um, sort of sold out MCG vibes. The boys started exceptionally in the first quarter. Um, great response from last week. Connor Rogers got on the scoreboard last week against Mazanod, and he got on the scoreboard early in the first term. He, I think he got it holding the ball. Forward pressure inside the forward 50 is essential. Lo and behold, I, able to, I was able to lay the tackle, holding the footy, and the silly bugger decided not to give the ball back to me on the full. It's funny, from the top of the goal square, I was more terrified than what I was from 30 metres out. When I was 30, 40 metres out, I thought, I'm going to slot this straight through the middle. Don't you worry about it. From the top of the square, I thought, do not bugger this up, Rog. Otherwise, this will go viral. Kicked it from point blank. Did a nice little Superman celebration. And Rogie was away for his Saturday morning.
Yeah, Stray is one of those players you got to take your chances when you get him because I think the past fortnight beforehand he totaled four disposals. So when you get a chance inside forward 50 and he did well to float forward, get in some space, take a mark. I was just thinking kick through the footy straighters. Don't think about anything else. Don't worry about your celebration just yet. Kick through the footy. Lo and behold, kicked it, went straight through. Couldn't believe my eyes. That was a clinical sequence of ball movement from the animals and to see Shrey finally not get burnt when he's in space, finds them pockets, hit him on the chest and he can convert from the set shots. Maybe not in general play, but when he's free, find the man and he will score you goals. Boy started hot, Shrey kicks a goal, but if you watch that back, it's actually because of me. Um, took a really, really nice intercept mark, hit up, check, laced, check actually. Um, so watch that back in 0 0.5 speed, a couple times. Mate, what a start. So this is unbelievable. Yes. And what a response from last week. We were all frustrated yes. about the result. So frustrated yes. that I faked an injury and didn't play today, but um, mate, how about, yes. how about old Stags Rogers? Great yes. start, the 50 helps. Two, two goals in three quarters. Ripped out the Superman. We did kick the first four goals, but they kicked a pesky one late just to stay within touching distance. But I think the feeling at quarter time was super positive. These boots have had about 15 kicks in the one quarter. <laughs> You've started so well. How you feeling? Yeah, good. They're fucking so tight. Yeah. And these are so wet. Might have to auction these off. <laughs> the man's in form. Can I get a replay, please? Yeah. The wipes come off. Check the other one. How are you finding it out there, Wilbur? Oh, coming off the flu. Like, still got it. Running is a lot harder. And it was already hard to start with. <laughs> so. Yeah. Like your aggression though, good areas. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta time my run though because I don't want to burn myself out completely. So yeah, I can sniff. I can sniff a chance coming. They, they want to stay real deep. Like you can see that they they had to start with four deep. They want to stay real deep. So we can push up and we can get heaps of switches and stuff on half back. And we just gotta make sure we work back though. Yeah. Front, so. There is um, when we get the footy at the half forward. There's a couple times our half forwards are then sitting in that hole. Push wide so people can lead straight into it because there is a fucking huge hole right there. Quick snap on the boot and we're quicker than that. We'll get to the Feeling out there, Rogers? Yeah, good mate. Good, decent, decent first quarter. I feel like they've got a little bit too many free inside kicks. So I think we need a can't drink our own bath water just yet. It's only a three goal lead. We need to tighten up. Couldn't be any more prouder of that start. What a response from last week as well. But we know it's only the first term and they got one back late. But the intent, the willingness to put their head up, like just everything that we didn't do last week, we've done this week, which has been awesome. Weird. Big day for the club, playing at home, we don't lose at the zoo. Take it on, boys. All the boys are watching, everyone's down here, play for someone you love. Fuck. My it's going good. good, it's going good. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, don't get complacent man. in your head, because that's, yeah. that's been an issue we've had. So yeah. we're going back out, we're resetting, all right? Boys, we're playing a top team, we're going to have to play. Boys, hard. we almost got complacent in that quarter. We kicked the first few goals, and then after they started getting all these inside kicks. We have to work hard defensively, shut off the inside kicks. Michael got busy around the ground. Now, Michael is Roger's mate, who used to be on his podcast with him, co-host of the Drivel podcast. Enormous inclusion. Um, we've loved playing with him. and He stood up well in the last quarter, but he stood up particularly well in the second as well, did Mick. So we decided to release him this week. He was in a wing rotation with myself. And lo and behold, the bloke's running around, getting touches at will. And he's one of the only blokes who was looking inside and hitting the short kicks, which then released us further up the ground. So Mickey Allen using his legs, running. One of the only blokes in the team that can run, and he was hitting targets all day. I'll say it again, we needed to find a leader today and not that Jay Davis doesn't lead every week because he does, but he's so good at using his hips and being strong through the hips. His first goal, have a look at it, he breaks one and just slots it through. So strong, Jay Davis. So strong. Jay Davis single-handedly led the charge to put us in a winning position. That man, is it's almost a Christian Petrarca. He's so good in the midfield, but he's also one of our only key forwards that can take a clunk and kick a goal. So where do we play Jarrah? Where is his time best spent? I sort of like the split at the moment, but if he's our full forward for the rest of the season, I have no complaints. The boys thought after one and a half quarters of good footy that they could just take the foot off and start to enjoy it. But uh, 
the opposition had other ideas, finished the quarter strong. This is the big question. Is it simply a lack of fitness where the opposition were able to run us off our legs in the back half of each quarter? Or were we just getting complacent? Did we think, oh, we've kicked a few goals on the, we got a few goals on the scoreboard. This is going to be an easy day. So we sort of stopped running defensively and they just ran all over the top of us. Maybe the fitness levels is a bit of an issue towards the end of that second quarter. But the boys went in at half time feeling pretty confident about the half that they had just produced. Mick, Bakes, there might have been someone else as well. And we worked it all the way to, um, to camera in the forward pocket. That's when we look at our best. So look for those short kicks and we can fucking work our way through. 45s, it's the 45s. That, that's, yeah. how, that's how it works, yeah. We, just those short angles there. Yeah. What's that? They're not, they're, not, they're not getting us on that one. We're playing better, better footy against a big body. They are a big body team. We're playing smarter footy. So it's all, it's all tracking, it's just it's tracking well. Yeah. Just don't get complacent. That's the biggest thing. Just know that we're gonna have to put in a real big second half. Obviously, last week. If we pull this off, this is a scalp. This is a genuine scalp. If we can win. I know that we had like whenever they had the footy, we usually uh, instead of just running straight to the boundary line and press that in, uh, we sort of had two of us on that um, on like that wing line, on the switch, yeah. and, and it stopped them from really coming in. But then when we were there, it really helped us when we had it, the ball at half back. We were already set up for that inside switch kick. We didn't have to run to it. Yeah. So I think we just keep protecting that middle bit, and then it opens up for us on the other line and we turn it over. Every yeah. time I'm going, <coughs> feeling right. Oh, then Asma's starting to bother, yeah. <laughs> and the same is starting to get older me. Um, <laughs> I was like, no, I'm feeling good, feeling good. I'm a little bit too much on the bench for my liking, so hopefully they've learned their lesson and they don't take don't take the man off. But um, no, I'm feeling good out there. This is going to be a big win if we get the win. I'm really excited to sing a song after this one. Well and truly in that. Yeah. Like, you still got gears to go yet. Wait until I kick the win, like I said, per game, mate. It's, it's brewing. It's in the air. And when you miss a goal like that, like a set shot, yeah. it's now in the fucking heads. Uh, you were one, wasn't you? Oh, man. <laughs> I've been a bit hungry as well, I'll be honest, boys. So I gotta keep... You've got the license too. Right? Yeah, I know, but i got to... I watched too much Petrarca highlights the other day, and I was like, I want to be Petrarca. And then I'm fucking nowhere near it right now. Come out the you same mentality you came out that first minute. Like, we want to bounce back from a loss last week. We don't want to come in with another loss, okay? Yes, keep going. Let's go, boys. So, Desperation, boys. Let's win. Same yeah. energy as the first quarter, boys. you got to go back out of the same mindset of this is going to be a tough battle. It's not going to come easy, okay? There's a few easy goals. It's not going to come easy in the second half. So let's go, go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Ormond were the red-hot favourites going into this game. There's no question about that. They knocked off St Mary's, who beat us by 133. Um, they're a pretty confident side. So they would have been feeling the pressure, being down to the battlers. So they made a move. They put their big-bodied number 32 into the midfield, and that man took the third quarter by storm. I like to think that I backed myself in a one-on-one -on -one against anyone. Doesn't matter how tall you are, how quick you are. I sort of think I can manoeuvre away and find, find a way to win this contest. But when a long ball came in and I saw that I had a bit of body on a bloke who looked like the Incredible Hulk on steroids, I started to get a little bit uh, terrified. And... I was applying all my pressure. I was like, I'm going to just try and half this contest some way, somehow. Giving it absolutely everything I can, and he swatted me like your common house fly. He had the legs of an ox. Um, no one could tackle him. He made Rog look like a child in a marking contest. One of the more terrifying men I've seen in my existence. Um, and he absolutely turned it on in the second half. While Ormond had a bit of ascendancy in the third quarter, we kicked goals, I would say, against the tide a little bit. My recruit, Ethan Baker, grabbed it out of the stoppage and slammed it home from 45 metres out. Ethan Baker, recruit of the millennium. Uh, C. McDonald out, hurt, and we lose a lot of goal now. It's a lot of now that we really are lacking in the forward line. But Ethan Baker into the guts. He was something special. It's a shame that he hasn't played footy in a while because he did cramp up at the end, but... He wasn't part of the engine room, he was the engine room and he single-handedly kept us in that game of footy. The midfielders must have sensed that they didn't do enough in the late into the second because in the third, Bakes and Davis kicked some really clutch goals for us, ones that we needed to get the momentum back. Jarrah went beast mode in this third quarter. He kicks one out of the stoppage from the pocket. Another goal where players are just hanging off him and he just gets boot to ball and sinks Baker it. Baker and Jarrah's goal out of the stoppage against the tide to give us a little gap has changed the game. Um, two weeks ago, neither of them were in our midfield and 
just bigger bodies yeah. kicking crucial goals at crucial time has shifted the momentum. Joey got a set shot, 30 out directly in front, kicked truly. Um, and then Jarrah kicked another one in the third. So when it felt like the game was slowly shifting into their uh, favours, we just piled on goals against the flow. And we missed opportunities in that third to really bury this Ormond side. Albert Jackers has arrived. Hasn't been getting the H2O. It's like getting the H2O, right? Man, that stag was unreal. That was a stoppage. It looked really good. Yeah. Throw it on the boot. Feeling it a little bit. Completely yeah, it's good. You know, everyone know where they are? Alright, here we go. We said all day. We just, we're just playing a bigger team. You've got to come out. We've got to know if we can play. So I think we, we did that really well that quarter. But... This is the quarter where they come out with the fucking hardest 10 minutes of the game, all right? So this is going to be the hardest 10 minutes this first start of this quarter. Right, boys. Can't right. let them kick any goals. First, first, first 10 go hard. First 10. That's, that's, first the, 10 go that's, hard. that's, the, yeah. that's the effort. First 10, no goals, no scoring. Desperation. Yeah. Keeping our forward line. And then after that, we can play the lockdown. We can yeah. play the slow yeah. the game down. Yeah. We can play all those tricks. But that first 10 is where that game's on the line, yeah. all right? Let's go. Bring it inside, boys. Bring it inside. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's <sighs> I'm just um, such a good fella. <laughs> nah, I'm not. What a legend. Um, we really appreciate it. Like, a lot of people have come down and supported the animals in the last few weeks, so it's been sick. Um, big last term coming Massive. up, Drews. Big last term. All comes down to this. This would be a scalp and a half. They're a good side that we're playing, so come on, boys. In the last quarter, helmet checkers went beast mode, so checkers put his helmet on. Big contest in our forward line. He gets barreled over. The big fella that we all feared barreled checkman over. I think we were fearing the contact because when he when he moved in there, everyone was getting thrown around like a rag doll. When Checkers kicked that goal, I thought it was so smart that he kicked it far because there's a construction site behind the ground. So he absolutely put his foot through it. Took about a minute off the clock. I thought that was really smart footy. There was no point in that game where I thought we were home because like I said, at the end of every single quarter, we let them get a couple. So, Checkers kicked the goal straight through the... I like the way he really hammered it home just to ice some time off the clock. With about seven or eight minutes to go, Ormond kicked truly, and they reduced the margin to nine points. And on the sidelines, when you're helpless, it started to get very nerve-wracking. They had a shot on goal, nine points down. I think there was five minutes to go, and the big check man gave away a 50. Orman got a little bit lucky with the push in the back. They got a bit of a gift with the 50, and all of a sudden, it's three points going into the last four or five minutes of this game. That was a bit of a momentum turn. When the momentum swung, you just knew that they were going to keep on coming. In the dying moments of the game, the substitute we've brought in to fill the void of our skipper has to go off with cramps. Someone get the man some water or some pickle juice or some Gatorade or something. I was behind the camera and he was yelling out to me, Drews, come and help me. Mate, I'm just recording your pain. That's all I'm here for. Get a nice little soccer off the ground and they take the lead with 90 seconds to go, folks. 90 seconds to go. They hadn't led all game. So the next clearance and a half are super important for us to try and pinch this game. Yeah, you got some good fish. <laughs> I couldn't get up. <laughs> you were just disabled at that point, weren't you? <laughs> I thought he was going to chip it to me, so then I was like getting rid of him up, and then I just went, nah, Legs not working here. Can you sum that up, Baz? Just uh, disappointing, gut wrenching. Um, took a big mark with like. A minute to go, two minutes to go. Didn't do anything. 
to change it, but we all put in a lot extra on last week and the week before and the week before that. So forget about it after today. We, we know we're getting better at that level, that top level. But just go out there and support, support the two, support the one, support the girls. Get in for the raffles, whatever you need to do. Help out, run water. Come back to the club later if you get to go home and shower. But yeah, we're getting better. We're getting better. So don't put your head down at all. Two points. First 133. A couple of weeks' time, we'll be up by 133. Let's just summarise that check, man. Um, I gave away the free kick. <laughs> to give him the winning goal. Did you see red? Nah, so I gave away the free kick. I think he ducked. I was a little bit annoyed that he ducked. Yeah. A little small bloke. I'm 6'4". And then I was like, in my head, I was like, we're going to hear your goal. If I just push him to the ground and give away a 50, it gives us time to reset back. And it gives us time to hopefully kick it far away. We had three minutes to wind down on the clock. So I was like, we'll give him this one. They're going to get it, but we'll give it to him with an extra 30 seconds. But didn't work out. I love you. Getting banged up in the ruck today. Always, but that's right. I actually feel alright. What went wrong? Maybe we just ran out of time. We had our opportunities. Like we outscored them by two two shots. So I think a couple of missed opportunities probably helped. I think we're still in it. Yeah, we gassed out a little bit in the last bit. Yeah, and then mm. what happened to you? Oh man, he went. He's calf obliterated. Yeah, it just went rock hard, and Drew had some good footage. I was right in front of him. I couldn't get out. I was like, I am right. I'm trying like, to get back up, like, and it just went. Coming off. I couldn't get up. I could not get up. I was like, this is insane. At the worst timing too. It was like. Like we're on here like yeah we needed goal. we needed one more goal and i was like yeah I'm, i can't get up so yeah. man, that was it well you'll be better for the long run need some more cold and flu tablets oh, and a sauna and bed yeah good man you rest up will you rest up man good crack today Rod. I thought you were going to kick a goal after the siren there. I saw you arcing up for it. Man, I've never been flatter. That was fast. That was shattering. Yeah. Uh, bag is won by a point. We lost by under a kick. You just got to take the good with the bad in footy. Some day could. Sometimes it's alright. What's the saying? Sometimes, sometimes good. maybe good. Sometimes, sometimes maybe, maybe good. Shit. Sometimes maybe shit. Today maybe shit. Next week maybe good. <laughs> So there you have it, guys. After a super brave effort by us lads, the boys pushed Ormond as far as we could. And that felt like a bit of a game that could be a galvanizing moment for us going forward this this year. Regarding the injury, I feel so much better than I did a week ago. Uh, my shoulder is and was super sore last week and there was no chance I could play. I think I'm probably going to miss one more, but I'm going to do physio and a little bit of rehab and um, try and get myself up for the following game. I'm not sure what that is, but if not, I'll just rest myself until the biggest game of Div 12 Resis over in Adelaide. Really appreciate everyone tuning in. Really appreciate all the support on the vlog. We're having so much fun making them. We're having so much fun playing with our mates. And um, yeah, we'll see you next week for some more 